posterior compartment of our leg. The posterior compartment of leg has two group of muscles: the superficial group and the deep group of muscle. The superficial group has first muscle. This is the gastrocnemius muscle. Gastrocnemius uh, muscle has two heads: the medial head and the lateral head. The medial head of the gastrocnemius originates from the posterior surface of medial femoral condyle and popliteal surface of the femoral shaft. The lateral head has origin from the posterior lateral surface of the lateral femoral condyle both of this these muscles uh, both of these heads together insert at the posterior surface of the calcaneus via the calcaneal tendon this is our calcaneal tendon when we remove the gastrocnemius muscle we can see the soleus muscle this is our soleus muscle the soleus muscle ins- originates from the solia line medial border soleus muscle originates from the solial line the medial border of the tibia the head of the fibula and the posterior border of the fibula again inserts by the posterior surface of the calcaneus by the calcaneal tendon this is this whole together of the gastrocnemius and soleus is the calcaneal tendon this is our calcaneal tendon when we remove the soleus muscle between the soleus and the gastrocnemius we see the plantaris muscle this is our plantaris muscle this is our plantaris muscle the plantaris muscle takes origin from the lateral supracondylar line of the femur oblique popliteal ligament of the knee and is inserted in the popliteal surface of the uh, calcaneus by the calcaneal tendon this goes down by a thin tendon and inserts into the calcaneal tendon now coming on to the deep muscles when we talk about the deep muscles the first muscle that we see is the flexor digitorum longus muscle this is our flexor digitorum longus muscle this is the tendon for the flexor digitorum longus muscle which crosses superficial to the tendon of the tibialis posterior muscle this is the tendon for the tibialis posterior muscle and this is the tendon for the flexor digitorum longus muscle the flexor digitorum longus muscle takes origin from the posterior surface of tibia inferior to the soleal line and it's inserted in the bases of the distal phalanges of tri- digits 4 2 to 5 the tibialis posterior muscle takes origin from the posterior surface of the tibia and posterior surface of the fibula and the trochlear membrane and is inserted by the tuberosity of the navicular bone and all cuneiform bones and the bases of the metatarsal bone 2 to 4 the flexor digitorum longus and the tibialis posterior tendon next muscle that we have flexor hallucis longus muscle this is another deep muscle the flexor hallucis longus muscle this is the flexor hallucis longus muscle the flexor hallucis longus takes origin from the distal 2/3 of the posterior surface of the fibula the intraosseous membrane the posterior intermuscular septum the fascia of the tibialis posterior muscle and is inserted in the base of the distal phalanx of the great toe 